Hey guys, and welcome to the ultimate guide to Unity 5 for beginners. So today I'm actually going to be covering the ultimate beginner's guide to Unity 5. Um, and this is really going to help any sort of noob or someone that's new to Unity, okay? And it's going to help introduce them to all of them and give them all the right concepts that they can start creating right away. So I have Unity installed. I have 5.3.5. Uh, There's a 5.4 out right now, but that one's currently in beta. Anyways, actually, I just wanted to mention this really quick before we begin. Sorry about not posting. I've actually been busy with a whole lot of stuff. I also wanted to say thank you for almost 600 followers on uh, Twitch TV. Link in the description or somewhere on here. Somewhere. I don't know where. It'll be there, though. So first off is when you log into your your Unity you'll have to log in to your account. You can go to the Getting Started tab um, if you want, I, and it just froze, great, okay, there you go. So yeah, you can. there's a couple videos here kind of introducing you to Unity. We're just gonna create a brand new project, um, and we can just get right into it. Let's just call this uh, Unity Test for, for, per, for my purposes, that's what I'm gonna call it. And then you can change the location of where you wanna save it. I'm gonna save it to the desktop. And then, that yeah, should be okay. Great project. Uh, crap. Let's call this Unity Demo. So, when you first load in Unity, it's kind of menacing, I guess. It'll put you in the Game tab. If you come over here and you click the Scene tab, here's your scene. Now, you can zoom in and out with a scroll wheel. Now, you're probably thinking, well, how do I, how do I move around? It's not letting me move around. I can click on things, but I, I, can't, I can't move around with the camera. Well, if you hold Alt, that gives you an eye, and you can rotate the camera around. So if you hold Alt and right-click, you can move the camera around. If you hold Control and Alt, and then click, then you can move the actual mouse around. And move the camera up, down, left, right, any way you want. And if you use these in combination, you can start to really hone in on where you want the thing. So, anyways, this is just going to be a series of videos helping beginners really get to know Unity and helping them, kind of welcoming them to the Unity community. And that rhymed, no pun intended. Anyways, so, we're in Unity, we know how to use the camera controls now. You're thinking, well, I, I want to make a game, let's, let's do it. Just a note, games take a lot of time and they take a lot of work, depending on how well you want to make them and how well they're going to develop. I'm not saying that you can't get a game together within 24 hours. That's doable. I've seen people do it before and it's great. But really nice quality games do take some time and work. I just wanted to mention that before we even start. So now that we are in the editor and we know how to move our camera, let's just kind of mess around with some game objects. So if you go up here to the game object thing, if not thing, tab, if you go to Game Object tab and you go to 3D Object, there's all these different 3D objects you can look at. Don't worry about Ragdoll or any of these down here quite yet. We'll look at those later. And there's other, some other stuff in there's light, there's audio sources, there's UI, particle system, and camera. Don't worry about any of those for now. All I want you guys to focus on is just the 3D object. So let's say we want to make some cubes. So if we want to make some cubes, we just click Cube, and then it'll add it to our scene. If you click on this in the hierarchy, this is what this is called here, you can move it up and down in the hierarchy. It doesn't do much. It just kind of keeps things orderly. I'll get into that later. Um, if you would like to focus on your, your cube, you click that. You click the cube object in the hierarchy, and you press the F key for focus. That will focus directly on the object. So you see, we have our cube here. Let's say we want to make it bigger or smaller. If you come up here to the top left, yours may be different depending on how you set up all your windows, but we'll get into that in a few minutes. So now that you have clicked that icon, you're going to have three things here. You're going to have a red, a red bar, a blue bar, and a green bar. Red is for the x-axis, and you can drag it out, and you can move stuff along the x-axis, and it will make it longer. And then blue is for the z-axis, pretty simple. And then uh, green is for the for the y-axis. That'll make your objects taller. So let's say we want to make 
a smaller box. And actually, if you want to scale them all down uniformly, you can click this small box here in the center and then just drag that down. Let's say you just want to make a box. Let's make a couple boxes that we can walk around with a character and just hit. That's all. Fairly simple. So there's a box. And let's make a couple other things. Let's, we want a cube, and then we also want a sphere. Uh, that's good. Now I'm going to make this one a little bit bigger. And then let's say I also want a, a cylinder. And if they do get stuck in between each other, just move it up down and you can also rotate objects with this cylinder same basic principles you have the X Y and Z axis and if you want to rotate you just drag along one of these sides here and you can also edit this in the editor here so let's say I want to get an exact um, an exact coordinate if I want to do 0 on the X axis it'll work that way but I'm gonna do 90 that'll rotate it just like that now you're thinking oh well how do I walk around and whatnot first of all I'm actually going to delete the main camera because that is just a simple camera that, that we do not need. And moving on, we have these three objects here. Now we're going to need a floor, obviously, so let's create one. 3D object, plane, and look, there you have your nice big floor. Now let's give it a, a color. Let's make it a certain color. So if we, in the assets, here you go, you have your folders empty, there's nothing in here. If I right click, this is how to create a material, everyone. If I, we're not going to import a package, we're actually going to create a material. So if you go to the create tab, right click, create material, it'll open up this. I'm just going to call this blue or orange because orange is what the color of this is going to be. So if you click on your orange here, there's, there's this basic RGB principle and you just kind of pick the color you want that's a nice orange and then if I would like to apply this to something I just drag it right on there so now we have a nice orange floor there you go you have your three cubes and whatnot so now to make sure that they actually have physics applied what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna click add component and all there's all these different components you can choose from mesh effects physics and just feel free to play around with them and see what they do physics 2d is if you're making a 2d game but this is 3D, so we're just going to use regular physics, and we're just going to apply rigid bodies. These will automatically give these objects physics. So if I do this several times, physics, rigid body. You can also search for it. If you don't know where it is, rigid body. Boom, and it's, and it's applied. Actually, you know I applied that to the wrong one. Oops. <laughs> so rigid body. And then we have three objects with gravity and basic physics thinking well how do I walk around another basic tool in unity is they have free import packages that are Im immediately installed with unity but you just have to import them so if you go to in the top left here assets import package and then you import the characters this will import a 3d a three-dimensional third-person um, view as well as a first-person view you'll get all of these crazy things and then just hit import it may take a minute to install and import it shouldn't take very long with my setup I'm running a fairly high-end setup and uh, once this is done we'll jump right back into it all right great it's now finished importing all of those packages now you'll have an editor folder which is useless do not worry about that as well as the standard assets folder this is the folder that you're going to want to worry about so if you click on your assets folder here you will have all your different materials that you created as well as standard assets and then standard assets will have characters you can do third person or first person it doesn't matter I'm gonna do first person and then audio is just all of the audio files don't worry about those scripts is all of the scripts applied to the first person prefabs is what you're gonna want to do I'll cover what prefabs are in another video in more detail so if you click on the prefabs all you have to do is take FPS controller and drag it into the scene but now it's stuck beneath the floor and you're thinking oh no well that's a bug let's fix that so what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually gonna center this so if you come up here you have your X Y and Z coordinates one two three I'm just gonna center this on zero zero and zero still not right so if this happens you can grab your character and just drag him with the tools that I showed you earlier it doesn't really matter where he place where he is placed in the scene it'll still work 
So now we have our simple scene. Let's let's play it. Awesome. So we can walk around and we have some basic sound effects. And we have our three objects here. This should there you go. It'll actually roll because it has physics applied to it and it should fall off. Now we have our ball. They are quite buggy because the Unity, the Unity physics engine isn't the best. Uh, if you're looking for a more physics based engine, I would definitely, definitely recommend either um, Unreal Engine or CryEngine. Please note though that those are not the most user friendly and I'll cover why Unity is my favorite engine in another video of this series. Anyways, I hope that this has helped you start your Unity career today, guys. And I just wanted to say thank you so much for subscribing, liking, commenting, sharing, doing whatever the heck you want to do with this stuff. And uh, thank you guys so much for just being there. And uh, have a good day, guys. Peace, peace. I feel like